Hey TC, I'm Claire Pollock with the Golden Fleece and this is the GF Current. TC has a new band director. Jenny Lehner has taken the program over and has also taken on the responsibility of marching band. So this is my 19th year of teaching. Uh, before this, I was at McDowell High School for eight years and then prior to that, I taught middle school for 10 years. I started my career in Georgia for three years and then I moved back to North Carolina and this is home, this is where we're from, so we were excited to get back to the area and especially the Asheville area. We're very excited to be here. So far, I've been so impressed just by the student body, their desire and drive for excellence. They're so self-motivated and just so easy to work with. They're very enthused about what they do and they have a passion to always do their best. The marching band's been wonderful. The, the marching band students, again, are just so motivated and strive to do their best. There's a high reputation of excellence. So they have just stepped right in, even with the transition for me coming in, just to do their best. And so it's been a great experience so far. This year, the title of the marching band show is As Long As I Can Dream. And so it's all about uh, music that involves dreaming and fulfilling goals. So we start off with putting the band to sleep with a lullaby, and then we start off with Aerosmith's um, Dream On. And then we go into the next movement, which is entitled Sweet Dreams. We actually use a little bit of Tchaikovsky to play off the Sweet Dreams Sugar Plum Fairy. And that goes into Sweet Dreams by the Eurythmics. And then the third movement is Inner Sandman by Metallica. And then the last movement brings us out of the dream state into the future with uh, Lady Mrs. Uh, I Dreamed a Dream. Keeping the reputation of TC marching band, students involved are excited for the show being produced. My favorite part about marching band this year is getting to work together to put together a new show that's a little bit different than anything we've done in the past. The new director's great. She's adjusting really well to having a bigger band, and I think all of the students are adjusting to having a different director, and we're all just kind of working together to make sure stuff gets done. My favorite part of the show is probably part four, which we haven't performed yet, but we're working on it. The transition's been different. Um, while she may be a new director, she's had a lot of years of experience and has brought in her own spin to marching band. Some things are different, just like the way we warm up, to the way we get set on field. And then also just in concert band, it's just a different way. She's still trying to figure us out in concert band and we're playing many different styles of music so we can have the best concerts. I'm looking forward to all of the difficult music that we're gonna play, a lot of hopefully master works or really grade level six music. Last year, the Speech and Debate Club was introduced, and this year, club administrator Taylor Sluter decided to make it a class. Yeah, so we focus on the big three, I call them. Public Forum, which is all about current events. Then the second forum is all about ethics, morals, and values. It's called Lincoln Douglas. And then the third event is a mock Congress version where students write and debate pieces of legislation uh, in a mock chamber of either a Senate or a House of Representatives. So we do have some other events as well. So there's dramatic interpretation, humorous interpretation, and duo interpretation. Most of the classes focus around the debate side, but we do have some students that are interested in the speech events. And I'm also trying to pool with our drama department to see if some of those students would like to participate as well for their Honor Society points. Yeah, so most of our competitions are on the weekends, on Saturdays. Uh, I'm on the executive committee for the state and we just started a scrimmage series that will happen on um, Thursdays and we're really looking forward to that to get some extra rounds for these students. Most of the tournaments take place in either Charlotte or Greenville. We have a few here in Asheville. We can travel as far as Boston. Uh, Nationals this year is in Phoenix, Arizona, so we'll be flying out there. But I think the term most people are excited for is the one at Harvard University that's up in Boston. We'll travel there in February. The fall play was decided to be Power Lines. Drama teacher Ryan Ledwig tells us what the play will be about. Um, Power Line is a play I actually read a few years ago, and so I knew I wanted to do it at some point. I was just kind of waiting for the right time. Um, and last year's play was like science fiction, like robots kill all humans thing, and I wanted to do something a little bit lighter, a little bit easier. Um, this one's kind of fun because the age a lot of our students are here now, their parents played the original Nintendo system, and a lot of the content on the show is, is based on the, the original NES. Um, so basically a mom and a dad start off by lecturing their kids and telling them they need to get a job, and the kids are like, well, we never had a job, or you never had a job at our age, and they're like, oh yes, we did. And then we flash back and we 
see the parents working actually at the Nintendo Power Hotline. So they were game counselors and they answered phone calls and helped people beat a level of Mario Brothers or get to the end of Metroid or, or get the Triforce completed in the original Legend of Zelda. So we had auditions on Tuesday, uh, September the 6th. Uh, it actually doesn't have that many props. There'll be a few of them, different video game consoles, uh, but most of the action takes place in a call center. So it's just gonna be desks, chairs, and lots of phones. Um, so we have two public performances on October 27th and 28th. That's the Thursday and Friday before Halloween. Um, there's also gonna be a surprise improv show that happens after the regular performance of the play. So um, we've got plenty of seats. People are gonna be welcome to come. It's uh, $10 a ticket. With all these great things happening, the 2022 fall season is looking to be a memorable one. GF out.